Hi, welcome to the farm today. Um, so it's a wonderful fall day today and we're excited to be here. We're excited to uh, introduce two new animals to our farm, actually three. Um, so we went ahead and decided to get another livestock guardian dog and we went there to get them and uh, we didn't want to split up the brothers. They're two brothers, so we went ahead and got two. Um, and their names are, JJ, what are their names? Prince and Price. So we're really excited. I think what I'll do long term is, uh, or just short term for the first few days or so, is tie them up so that the sheep can look at them and they can look at the sheep and kind of get used to them. So, yeah. Just a good boy. Right. I climbed the So, we got these sheep, um, pardon me, we got these uh, Lifestar Guardian dogs to guard the sheep. Um, long story Nala, we tried to train Nala over the past six months. She, we got her when she was about two, and so um, a lot of these Lifestar Guardian dogs start with the sheep when they're puppies, like these guys did, and they start with the livestock then, but Nala was, was not that way, um, and so we put her with the sheep, we tied her up uh, close to the sheep for the first week or so, then we let her with the sheep, and she did really well, um, but occasionally, probably like four times in the you know, past couple months, she started to nip at the sheep to play with them, I believe, and she would nip at their legs, and then she would nip at their neck, and so um, tried to scold her and train her, um, and you know what? It, it didn't work. We tried and tried and tried, and I don't want to give up on her, so these guys, we got them from uh, just a local farm here, and they, they are about two as well, and they've been raised with uh, livestock since they were puppies, and so uh, they they do really well with livestock. They don't bite uh, or anything like that. And uh, instead of being really a pet, these guys are, are just with livestock the whole time. So our hope is that uh, they'll get used to the livestock and we'll separate Nala for a little bit uh, from them. And then, uh, and then as they get used to the livestock, um, the hope is that Nala will follow suit. And if anything else, maybe Nala will then learn not to bite the sheep just by watching their example. But if anything else, they can protect the sheep from Nala. So just the occasion when she gets a wild hair. Um, so that's our hope, but uh, they were so beautiful, aren't they? So this is our girl Nala that I was talking to you about. She obeys me. She listens to me. She listens to the kids pretty good and to uh, Kirsten pretty good. Um, but uh, we love Nala. She's just too playful with the sheep. Is that right? Um, we're learning here together again, and uh, we uh, we appreciate you coming.